This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I center the array mesh pivot to the world axis? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a simple hemisphere model here loaded in. This model was created using a sphere 3D object, and then it was initialized and turned into a polymesh 3D. So the question is asking about using array mesh and taking the array mesh pivot and centering it to the world axis. So how can you go by doing that? So the first thing I want to do is I just want to position my hemisphere here like so, and I want to activate the floor grid. Now, as you'll notice here, the floor grid is positioned directly under my model, but then underneath the floor grid, I have a series of lines. And these are the axis lines. And where these are converging is the true zero zero position of the ZBrush world. So inside of ZBrush by default, if you have only one subtool selected and you move this in your scene and you have the floor grid active, when you rotate after that move, the floor grid's gonna snap to the bottom of your mesh. So no matter where you have this positioned and you move it and then update the rotation, the floor grid is going to snap to the bottom of that mesh. So before we start messing with the pivot points of the array mesh here, I just wanna make sure that this floor grid is always snapping to the zero zero of the world. So to do this, we just need to navigate to the draw palette over here and open this up. And then down here next to the floor grid button, there is an elevation slider. And I just wanna change this elevation slider from negative one to zero. And now the floor grid will always be centered in the zero zero of the world. So as you can see now, the floor grid is down there and my hemisphere is now floating above it. So now that I have the floor grid sitting on the central axis there, let's say I have this hemisphere and I want to use the array mesh to rotate it around that center point to create a ring design. So I'm gonna to go to the tool palette over here. I'm gonna to go to the array mesh tab and open this up. And then I'm just gonna simply activate the array mesh. Now, once this is activated, I can now go to the bottom here and click on rotate and I can change my Z amount to 360. And then I can come up to the repeats here and just toggle this and it should now start performing that array. Now you'll notice by default that the array mesh is happening around the local axis of the subtool I've selected. So if you took a bounding box and placed it around the hemisphere here, it's finding the central point and it's generating the array mesh around that point. So you could rotate to the side and then come down here to the pivot area and start changing these sliders to try to affect how the pivot is going to offset. So by changing the Y amount here, you can see I can start generate that ring design, but it's still not fully positioned around that central axis. So the best you're gonna be able to do at this stage is kind of eyeball how that is happening. So let's say I wanna just take this pivot point now and I just wanna reset it to the center of the world. So to do this, we just need to come to the array mesh panel here. We need to now turn on this lock position option here, and then we need to click reset. So what this is going to do, it's going to take the position of the mesh based on the world axis. And in this process, it's going to reset the pivot point of the array mesh to the center of the world. So just turn on lock position and then click reset. Now, after you've clicked this reset, you will need to go back down to the rotate palette here and put that Z amount back to 360 and then hit enter. And now you'll see that the object here is rotating around the center of the world. So now if I change my repeat here, you'll see I'm gonna get this effect. And this is correlating directly to that pivot point being in the center. Now, since this is an array mesh, I can now manipulate the offset of the original hemisphere based on the world origin, and this will change the size of my ring there. So you can see the pivot point is still staying in the center of the world, and now I'm able to manipulate the original object and get different designs like so. So the process, once again, to center the pivot point of the array mesh to the center of the world is to first make sure you have lock position active and then click reset, and that will reset the pivot point of the array mesh to the zero, zero, zero. And then now you can come down and set your rotation amount and then change your repeats, and that object should now rotate around the world axis. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, Please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.